So Kelvin, obviously you've gone from, well, you've kind of had a really diverse career and you've gone from an on-screen farmer in Emma Dale, you've done Strictly. What's it like to then become a real farmer, as it were? You know, you're doing what you were filming before, but it's real, it's a business, and it and it really matters what you're doing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's random, isn't it? It's like <laughs> so bizarre. Uh, and, I, and I never kind of, it's weird. I, I still don't really make that connection. It's not really an obvious, it's an obvious connection, but yes, I was playing a farmer, but that was just an acting job. Yeah. Yes, it was for... 20 years and an amazing part of my life but um the fact that i'm now a farmer i honestly i don't connect the two really uh, which may sound a bit bizarre to some people because it's an obvious connection for them you play a farmer for so long somewhat maybe iconic within that you know yeah, yeah. soap opera if you, uh, you know that serial drama and then in real life five years later you've you're doing it for real but for me no it's just been um it just feels very separate and it's very surprising there's very little I can draw from that there's no real experiences I can draw on because it was all fiction it was all yeah you know the scenes were about the character you know the, the, yeah the fights or whatever it might have been yeah very rarely did I get any real insight into farming yeah so I've learned more in one day of farming myself than I probably did in, in the 20 years playing a farmer. I think that's interesting because, yeah. as you say, I would have thought that would have almost been almost a catalyst. Or, you know, you've you've been farming on screen for that long. It was only a natural step to go and farm in real life almost. But Yeah, no, it was... I, I always had an affection for the outdoors, not necessarily just farming, but it was, just, you know, it's, there's more to... to um, to the outdoors than, than farming there's more to the farming than, than the outdoors you know there's so much more to see and Emma will give me a little insight mm -hmm. um, but many things are giving me an insight I've always loved that sense of just being open space yes yeah. I'm a real people's person but at the same time the thought of going out walking on my own or us having no real neighbours and our family just doing yeah. our own yeah. thing and a bit of grass to get the kids little quad bikes and just when there's Berries on the trees to so go and forage your own. Whatever it is, however random that sounds, that's been like a really big attraction. And yeah. then the kind of farming has just been the, you know, the, the icing on the cake, really. I think that really shines through in your programme. You know, I absolutely love watching it. Becca love watching it. You're asking all the questions I do. Um, and I was going to say, is there going to be another series? Is there something we can look forward to? Because I think the reception has been fab and everybody wonders, is there going to be more? Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be filming again yeah um oh, it's um <laughs> i think for us the journey was very much um it, it was an absolute step into the unknown and i thought the the, the program that we made was absolutely represented that and and hopefully uh, we've seen already people reaching out it represented embracing change not just moving to the countryside starting yeah. to farm just as a lot of people have done, a lot of career changes have happened during this, you know, the, 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 this pandemic and whatnot. So it's prompted mm -hmm. people to be a little bit more present, value the smaller things, the sense of family, the sense of being together. And that's absolutely what we did. And that's what the programme and captured. Yeah. Amongst other things, amongst us, you know, there's naturally going to be comedic moments when I'm getting dragged around by a sheep. <laughs> they and don't it. want me to fall. Every yeah. time they're like, Lizzie, this fall. is going to be your day. You're like falling over. I'm like, please, not today. Not today. But yeah. But so it's only been a very, you know, it's the start of our journey yeah. and we want we want to continue that and, and and the it's been an overwhelming response so for people to show an interest and kind of want to see the progression want to see what you were like a year later and yeah and how we kind of make things work so yeah that the um you know um watch your space i think what you've managed to do is resonate with the fact that you're real people yeah and are taking a real, I mean, journey is a bit of an overused word, but you're on a, on a journey of learning. And I think that makes farming seem, well, whether it's farming itself, whether it's the industry, whether it's even just being a bit more involved in what you're eating, it makes it seem really accessible to people that if you can do it and you effectively knew nothing about farming, it makes people think, oh, I can too, or I can, I can engage. Yeah. Something from that. Yeah. yeah. Give it a go. I think, we, you know, if you've got a good work ethic and you're passionate, and patient you've got to be yeah. patient we're just discussing what we about financially it's not there's certain things don't quite stack up just yet yeah. certain things go certain things show massive potential other things but that's the that's the um that's the bit that, that excites me and drives me naively foolishly but i'm thinking well actually i can make this be a yeah. financially viable um you know um step and um it's not going to happen 
immediate and that's mm -hmm. something you've kind of got to quickly accept. Um, but everyone's got their own ways of doing things and, and different scales in doing yeah. things. You know, some people who, who I've said before, you know, should rightly have a voice who want to get into the industry, want to have some, raise some animals or grow some crop, whatever it is. And they don't necessarily want to do it on a big scale. They don't, they don't necessarily want to have to commercialize it. Well, they've, that, they've every, you know, they've got just as big a voice, in my opinion, as yeah. because they represent the sector. And yes, the sector has got to be commercially viable for, for the industry, but to have that passion and desire and drive and appetite for mm -hmm. the sector with not a commercial you know, emphasis, then that's just as, as important as well, in my opinion. And hopefully we're, we're showcasing both. For sure. And obviously the children, it's clear being here, they get so involved. I bet that's a really nice thing for you to see them kind of hands on and really enjoying the countryside. That must be a huge, a huge thing for you and Liz. Yeah, it's massive to have the kids involved. Um, for me, there's no, there's no better place for kids to be um, than, than to be outside. You know, not, I don't mean just on farmland, but just I, I grew up playing on the street yeah. with all my mates. You know, in the two up, two down. That just kids being kids outside, being feral. Uh, you know, exploring and having that sense of adventure, you know, in the house at night time, we're giving the kids loads of love and support because that's when they're most vulnerable. And, you know, it's important that they know that, that they're absolutely loved and they can go and conquer whatever they want. Yeah. And you try and teach them as much and, and the right values. But when they're out, you want that sense of adventure. You want that inquisitive nature. Yeah. You know, that's somewhat a little bit of mischief. And, and that for me has got to be embraced. And, and, and so to see them thrive in this sort of, environment is just you know it's really really a proud moment for us both and um you know i, I do have to admit sometimes they're a little bit more of a hindrance than a help because <laughs> their age you know it's yeah, yeah. milo is 10 minutes and he's, he's, he's somewhat over it but they're both so hands-on with the animals which is surprising yeah. because we've never been animal people and manny and the milo they're just getting pick up the little lambs and re manny will wrestle the sheep there's a you there that will kind of go for it and she's just she can't wait to kind of say, "Let me. When can I catch a sheep, Dad?" You know, the lambs are somewhat a bit too, a bit too easy for her. She wants a challenge. She wants to wrestle a 60, 70 kg ewe. <laughs> so no, it's great to kind of see them yeah. progress. And, and hopefully, I mean, every farmer would say that. I cast myself as a farmer, but I'd love them to carry on, carry on, you know, and and become yeah. and love the land and and really get passionate about rearing animals or growing crop or just being being a farmer and you know. Um, yeah, that'd be amazing. And twins on the way. And twins on the way, as I if know. we weren't busy enough. Yeah, twi <laughs> Becca's a twin, so she gets that side. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. I am, yeah. I've got an identical twin sister, so yes. I'm sure my parents would say it'll be absolutely amazing. No yeah. trouble whatsoever. <laughs> Are you Easy. Sure that's not what your mum was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's full of, we, we're under no illusion it's going to be pretty challenging and testing, but those are the moments that it's chaos, you know, certainly the mornings at school run yeah. without the twins yet. And it is, I'm guessing. My dad's told me, but there'll be those years when things are a little bit more settled and, and calmed down. We'll be looking back at that, those chaotic moments, yeah. thinking, how did we do it? But I want to do it again. You know, yeah. they're, they're the moments you look back on and think they are, you know, the struggles, but, but at the same time, just, yeah. you know, a, a real adventure. Yeah, for sure. And I guess, um, well, we've kind of covered other questions being out and about, which is great. So going to ask you the big question we've asked Liz so we'll see what you say yeah there's no pressure on this question Don't whatsoever say, not at all are you team boots or team heels uh team boots uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> that's both of you I'm over the moon again <laughs> I was surprised it's, it's not team heels well Liz thought you were team heels so I was going oh, really? on yeah. of them. at least I'll have one of them no you both I team thought, boots I'm when you want to change your mind there, Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Well, I, I, you know, it's, it's funny. I, I, yeah, I do like a pair of heels. Uh, I, I was just thinking more. For, I was probably maybe just overthinking it, thinking, well. Do you know what? We get so many answers that. I mean, we've even had team trainers, which just have, completely yeah. threw, yeah, yeah. threw us. To be but, fair, I've had a t few team heels this side. Yeah. I, I think Liz is team heels there because she's 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 she's, she's not being completely honest there. Liz is, <laughs> is as comfortable in both, but I'm... Uh, you know, if we had, I, I was in a dinner suit on Sunday night. Liz was in heels, heavily pregnant, <laughs> in heels, man. Which is looking a, amazing yeah. and, and able to walk as well. And I, I, and I looked uh, probably the best, uh, you know, um, I would normally look, but I'm honestly feel better when I'm Team in boots. I'm here for that. In my scruffs. So. I'm, I'm going to. So does that mean Liz is now Team Heels? Yeah, let's, Liz. I'll, I'll put Liz on the Team Heels. Are you going to be on Team Heels with me? <laughs> I'm surprised you went for team team Boosley. Is that like you're you're all about the I know, but being here, it just doesn't happen, does it? 
it doesn't happen, <laughs> but I, I guess if you had the choice. I was saying I want to put a dress on man and pass out, but she's just seen him as <laughs> Oh, that's fab. Well, I'd say there's so one much. person who is definitely team heels, and Go that's on. Marnie. Oh. <laughs> she's definitely, she's always walking on in Lizzie's heels, and she's, um, but then that's the thing, she's just as comfortable and looks just as beautiful in, when she's in a little overalls and whatnot so oh yeah i'm here for the john deere overalls as well to be fair. <laughs> right, amazing colour. well thank you both so much for having us today yeah thank you it's been no. fantastic and hopefully catch up soon yes and thank you for your for your words of wisdom as well and you're well, more better so, than me no, no, I'm from, still from both you know so it's it's great to uh it's great to, to you know to know that we're doing some things right we'll be making mistakes but that, that's we absolutely all do. fine Honestly, yeah, yeah. it's just great to have people like you championing the industry because we need it Mm -hmm. And it's nice to actually find somebody else who's not afraid to ask the stupid question. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad, but no thank you.